What is going on guys? Welcome to your third HTML5 tutorial and in this lesson I'm going to be talking to you guys about the different parts of the body. Now way back when people used to lay out websites using something called tables. Now this allowed you to kind of arrange stuff in columns and have all your logos on the top and it kind of gave you a decent layout but it wasn't great. And then a little bit later on people found out about divs. Now divs gave you more control over your layout but with tables and divs neither layout was great but it kinda got the job done. However whenever you use HTML5 not only can you organize your layout a whole lot better but you can also identify the different parts of the body. So if you use the table pretty much everything was in a cell and your browser didn't really know which part was supposed to be your header, your footer, your navigation but with HTML5 this is all changed. So if we go ahead and take a look at any website if you ever use the internet before you probably notice that web pages are divided up kinda similar to one another. So let me go ahead and here's a neat little trick aside from HTML5 I don't know if you guys knew this if you're using Google Chrome you can hold control on your keyboard and scroll and it'll change the size of your text. So anyways you know that has nothing to do with the tutorial but I thought I'd tell you guys so anyways if we go ahead and take a look at any typical web page mine included it's kind of laid out the same you have your header which pretty much has your logo and maybe your title you have a navigation bar that pretty much has a list of links to your different um, web pages you have your main content which is pretty much the meat of your web page it's all the important information and aside from that you have your footer now the footer is at the bottom here and it has all the copyright business crap and the only other piece I guess that is kinda noticeable is the sidebars you have one over here with like extra news and one over here but basically every single website I don't wanna say every website because there are some weird ones out there but a lot of the websites are kinda laid out in the same way and the developers of HTML5 kinda noticed this and they said okay we might want to break this up a little bit smarter than we have before. So what they did is they made tags for each of these pieces. Now your browser can know which each part of your website is for. So let's go ahead and work in the body in this tutorial. And here's a nice little trick too. I'm telling you guys all sorts of tricks. If you want to collapse something, for example, I don't need this head because I'm not working in it in this tutorial. Just go ahead and hit this little minus sign and it'll collapse it so there you go it's still there it doesn't delete it it just collapses it so there you go there's some more tips so anyways in your body the first thing we want is the header now remember the header don't get it confused with the head what we just collapsed the header is basically the part of your website that has your logo and pretty much the title of your website so in order to do this let me go ahead and indent this actually we just go ahead and type header and have an ending tag like that and since I don't have an image I really don't want to add an image right now um what can I put in here I guess I can just put a little description so heading one that might be kinda of big but oh well I'll put welcome to the new Boston and I guess I might as well capitalize this since it is the title welcome to the new Boston so now if we go ahead and save this run launching Google Chrome we can see that we now have a title in this whenever we're reading this in a browser our browser is gonna know that whatever is in between your header tags that is the header of your website so aside from that we also uh, let's see let me think of the order I want to do this I guess I'll tell you guys about the navigation next now the navigation if we look it's all of these links right here it's the main navigation for your website and the tag that they figured was the best for that is NAV short for navigation so since we don't have all those images and rollovers we can just make an unordered list UL UL and throw a couple of list items in there and I'll make a couple of fake links I actually won't make any links I'll just put some text in there copy this bad boy I don't know why I do that whenever I'm copying something I right click it and hit copy and whenever I'm uh, pasting it I hit the shortcut control V pretty weird but I do it anyways okay home and tutorials and I'll make a link to a fake link to my podcast so anyways the key that I wanna take away from this tutorial 
or excuse me, this little piece of information is whenever you have your main navigation in HTML5, put it in between these nav tags, right like that. Now, I guess the last tag I'm going to talk to you guys about is, I don't know, I don't know how much time I'm going to have left, but the main content is pretty much all this meaty stuff. It's pretty much the main information, the most important part of your website. That goes in between a tag called section. Now, it doesn't always go in between this tag, but for the sake of this tutorial to keep things simple, we're going to be adding all the important stuff in between section. Now, we're actually going to be spending a lot of time in there, so I guess we'll do that in the next tutorial. I'm going to try to cover all these basic tags first. Now, the sidebar I was talking about is basically all your it's not the incredibly most important information but it might be you know a little news story or some more navigation or maybe a funny picture of a cat or something not really the meat of your website but you know it's useful information what we do is we put it in a sidebar and we name that a side and you can actually have a couple of these but we'll just stick with one for now and let me just put like um a little header so header four and what am I gonna say I'll make this like a news story so I'll say news and then I'll put like Bucky has a new dog I really don't have a new dog but if I did I would definitely put it on my website so you know I think it suits it well um and the last part before I forget is the footer now the footer of your website if you look pretty much all websites have a footer it's this little information at the bottom where you have like your copyright information and your company name and maybe if you have a really big website there are the terms of services you know what you can't do what's illegal and stuff so we use that and we put it in the tag footer how appropriately named footer now everything in here again like I said is like your company information copyright so I'll make a fake copyright copyright the new Boston and what year is it? 2011. So with that you have your very basic structure of a very simple website. You have your header which is your title and logos, your main navigation bar that usually appears at the top, your main content, your sidebar, and your footer. So now these are custom HTML5 tags and now our browser knows that anything in the footer is exactly footer information and it's not just in a random table or a random div tag it actually is aware of the content now so if we go ahead and save this and run launching chrome you can see that okay what's going on here here's my uh, header at the top and my navigation looks like it's in the right place but like this isn't that supposed to be on the side I think you told me that was a side. Well, actually, a side, these tags, they only describe the information or the content. They only are saying, okay, browser, this is side information, or in other words, not as important information as the main stuff. It doesn't position it. We're going to be working with positioning and styling later on. But anyways, what I want to point out is these tags right here, they're pretty much used to only describe the information in it and we're going to be using CSS to style and lay out everything nice and pretty later on but that's in a couple tutorials for now just get your basic tags set and I'm going to be showing you all the cool stuff later on so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later